Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. I am very grateful for all of your support. This channel has reached 200k subscribers. This channel is nothing without you. To be honest, even now, I still feel that I'm nothing. I'm just a messenger for independent researchers. I'm sorry if lately I haven't been making videos regularly, it's because the laptop I'm using for this is having serious problems, and now I'm trying to fix it. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Rachenberg, the castle of Siegfried the Dragon Slayer, Germany. For those who don't know the legend of Siegfried and the Dragon, it's a legendary story from German mythology that tells the tale of a man who slayed a dragon, took a bath into the creature's blood, and became invincible. However, one spot on his body did not get covered with blood, which would lead to his demise later in the story. The epic battle is said to having taken place next to Drachenfels Rock in Königswinter. Close to this rock, Drachenberg was built in the 18th century. The Jena Maria Nurig. Located in the commune of Villanovaforu, province of South Sardinia, Italy. The new rig is 3,500 years old, it stands on a hill watching over the territory, and became famous after its discovery in the middle of the 12th century. The new rig was originally built as a single tower structure in the Middle Bronze Age, 1500 BC. At the beginning of the Late Bronze Age, 1300 BC, the tower was incorporated and partially surrounded by massive walls linking in all four towers with embrasures. The walls contain a courtyard with a well partially cut into the rock. Sir Richard Owen, who created the term dinosaur, wanted to prove evolution to be true. He knew that many in the scientific community embraced the same goal. He was broke and desperate to succeed. After his invention of the dinosaur in 1842, amazingly, the first dinosaur discovery happened in 1858. Most people believe that dinosaur skeletons displayed in museums consist of real dinosaur bones. This is not the case. The real bones are incarcerated in thick vaults to which only a select few highly placed researchers hold a key, which means that no independent researcher has ever handled a Tyrannosaurus rex bone. When people unaffiliated with the paleontological establishment attempt to gain access in order to study these dinosaur bones, they are met with refusal upon refusal. Only around 2100 dinosaur bone sets have been discovered worldwide, and out of these, only 15 incomplete Tyrannosaurus rex bone sets have been found. These dinosaur bone sets have never formed a complete skeleton. But from these incomplete bone sets, paleontologists have constructed a hypothesis about the appearance of the whole skeleton, which they have modeled in plastic. The thousands of long necks and large carnivorous reptiles had really roamed Earth, we wouldn't only have found 2100 dinosaur bone sets, but millions of bones, with ordinary people tripping over them when digging in their vegetable patches. Robin Kofod, the dinosaurs never existed. To this day, nobody has ever excavated a complete dinosaur skeleton. Hence, the various species of dinosaurs are all artists' imaginations. 
Before the 1800s, nobody had ever heard of a dinosaur, nor had anyone anywhere throughout the ages discovered a single dinosaur fossil. This includes every single culture from around the world, from the Native Americans to the ancient Egyptians. The prehistoric monsters seen in museum exhibits are all plaster casts. Real dinosaur bones are only allowed to be seen by a special group of government-appointed paleontologists. The whole dinosaur industry is propaganda, created as a way to validate Darwin's false theory of evolution. What do you think? Archaeologists found a stone figure of a shark suspiciously resembling a submarine. Researchers attributed the find to the Sambaki tribe that existed on the Atlantic coast about 5,000 years ago. By coincidence, the age of this finding is also about 5,000 years. This figurine carved from stone, according to researchers, is a figure of a shark, in principle, so it is. But in fact, more interesting is, the quality of work with which this find is made, it's just incredible. The perfect proportions, the correct shape of the hull, and in general, the figure looks like a submarine. It is just not clear, if the ancient man had such skills, then why he did not sharpen the fins. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. UFOs in a 15th century painting. It is assumed that there are clouds in the picture. However, they look strange. At the same time, one must pay attention to the fact that the author depicts people and objects as they are. Why did he need to paint objects in the sky exactly of such form? Perhaps it is not about the clouds. In the written sources of those years, there is no information about something like a UFO. But how could an artist draw something he had never seen? one can assume an accident. Like, without wishing it, he created something that attracted the attention of people many years later. Such an explanation does not seem plausible to those who do not believe in accidents. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.